Hi, my name is Lawrence Little, better known as the Wet Shaving Barber. I've had the privilege of shaving many clients, uh, people of color, uh, again, European uh, skin tones as well. And shaving is something that I love to do. The end result of the shaves that I like to provide for my clients is a BBS shave. That is a baby bottom smooth shave. Not like some of these videos that you'll see where people are generally just taking off hair, removing hair, if you will. Well, that is not a proper shave to me. The video series that I'm starting here today, and it's for a, a, a very salient reason, um, is entitled Shaving the Way Your Father Should Have Taught You. That is the correct way that people of color should shave. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because recently at a congregation meeting, I talked with various brothers who, again, are brown skin complexion, if you will, whether they're Latino, whether they're African American, whether they're, again, of Caribbean descent, even African descent. And uh, many of them have uh, the same type of challenges when it comes down to properly shaving their skin. Because of not properly shaving, they end up with these craters in their skin, tremendous bumps, brown bruises, and so forth. And, well, they just think that's the way that uh, love goes and life is, and they just continue to do that. Well, I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. The sad result of something like that is many of uh, our wives, our significant others, have to deal with that. They have to deal with our skin looking like somebody just uh, lit a match to our face, um, looking like uh, we've got a constant five o'clock shadow when we might have just shaved, um, just looking horrendous and nothing like the man that they first met. Well, that's one of the things that can put a damper in your marriage, that's for sure, or your relationship. The bottom line, what I'm trying to do here is I'm not trying to claim to be anything special. I'm not trying to claim to do anything that you can't do. But because I've focused on shaving, especially for people of color, I want to try to bring to you in this series ways in which you can overcome the stigma or stigma normally attached with reference to African-American men or people of color or brown-skinned men using a razor to shave. Sad to say, I even saw a video of Steve Harvey talking about his um, regimen and basically saying that you know, he doesn't use a razor, can't use a razor on his face because of bumping and so forth. Now, he's a man who could afford some of the best. But because we're not shown how to do it in a proper manner, we avoid these things. Now, before when I used to do videos, I talked at the top of my dome. But I was told, well, you might do better if you had an outline. So, here it goes. Uh, here are some of the stigmas that I've often heard as far as um, shaving for people of color. It says, I can't shave with a razor because immediately, well, my face is going to bump up. And that's just going to be the end. Uh, as soon as I try to use a razor... My skin bumps up something awful. Oh, they also say, the best way for people of color to shave is use clippers or trimmers. Really? Well, many of our grandfathers and fathers used to shave with, again, a double-edged razor. Okay, this is an older Gillette that I'm restoring here. Let me just show you here what this is. The butterfly, the... Uh, method is what this is using. So here is the razor that opens up. Here is the razor blade. This is a double edge razor blade. This is a double edge shaver. Okay, you can see here. Here. We can talk about the different types that are out there, etc. Now there's also a single edge razor or shaver if you will and a single-edge razor blade. These are some of the tools that our grandfathers and fathers used to use. So then, what happened? 
how come we don't use those things anymore? Well, in comes the great invention called the disposable razor. Well, why? Because they said, well, it's easy to use, it's affordable, and after you have a few shaves, you can toss it away. So you don't have to use something like this. They thought that it would be a better way to go. Not so. Oh, they didn't just stop there. Then they went on to the multi-blade disposable shavers. I think now they have up to five blades in one cartridge. These things are expensive. Um, and, and, and just to say one thing real quick, anytime you are going over your face with a blade, okay, that's considered it will pass. If you have five blades or more than one blade in that cartridge and you are going over your face, every stroke is multiple passes. So if you have five blades in that cartridge, that's like doing five passes at one time. Well, what is their goal for doing this? More than one blade. Well, they wanted to give you what they thought would be a smooth shave quickly. They show you how the first blade does this, and then the second blade, and the third blade. And they got five blades now. Okay, so before when you had two blades, oh, well, the first, and then now the three blades, oh, yeah, now the fourth. When are they going to stop? They're trying to tell you that it ain't working. Okay, but we just swallow the bait and we keep going. Oh, then there was something else that was created. A, debil a, a debilitor. I'm saying it wrong. It's a, okay, you know what I'm talking about. It's a product that basically removes the hair from your face without your necessarily shaving or using a razor. Uh, one of the popular products is called Magic Shave. And as I said, they felt that this would help you to remove hair without, again and again, without causing razor bumps or avoiding razor bumps. You know, we got so caught up in the instant gratification movement that we didn't realize one very important thing that none of these new advances truly taught us, and that's how to properly shave. Oh, they may have made some of the tools in their eyes better, but they didn't necessarily teach us how to shave. If they taught us how to properly shave with a razor in the first place, maybe we would have had some success. But I'm here to prove to you that we can successfully shave with a razor. So the goal of this video series entitled Shaving the Way Your Father Should Have Taught You the Correct Way That People of Color Should Shave is to help brown people or brown skinned people, whether you're black men or African American men, or Latin men, etc., to learn how to properly shave with a razor. And again, I'm not talking about just removing hair, okay? I'm talking about giving you a BBS, or a baby bottom smooth result every time you shave. So, the next video that you're going to see in this series is going to talk about some of the tools, okay? And also, the ways to use some of those tools. But bottom line, my goal is to empower you so that you can also empower others, whether it's your cousins, your sons, your friends, because I hate seeing the skin with all those craters and all that crap and clippers and all that. No, you don't need to do that. No, no. You need to learn how to properly shave in the first place. And again, I am nothing special. I'm just somebody who took the time to really investigate and to see the ways in which things were done, where the changes were made, and why we are continuing to struggle. The wet shave movement is coming back. The only problem is we, as people of color, are the only ones who are poo-pooing it, if you will, or saying that it won't work for us because of the stigma that we are under, that if we shave with a razor, we're going to bump. People, please. Now, understand one thing. Don't look at these videos, and don't ever come back to my channel if you're looking for a quick way to shave. And what I mean by this, you got to take care of your skin. You can't just get up in the morning, blah, 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 okay, I'm done, done, and think that it's all good. No, I never shave in the morning. I always shave the night before, like I'm about to shave right now. Why? 
because I shaved the night before to go through the process. You see, if you don't take care of your skin, if you don't take the time to properly treat your skin or the shave, then you continue to get those other crappy results that you're getting, or you think you're getting great results, but you're not. You ever touch the skin? Ladies, touch your man's skin after he thinks he's done a good shave and see what you feel. If it doesn't feel as smooth as yours, he's doing something wrong. Now, some guys say, what you mean? My face ain't gonna never be as smooth as my wife. She don't shave. Fool, you shaving the wrong way in the first place. That should be the goal. Your goal should be to be to have your face as pleasantly smooth as possible as you can get. If you can't give that to your woman, you need to be doing something else. Because guess what? When it comes to your car, you make sure that thing is washed, buffed, waxed, simonized, everything. You spend more time detailing your car than you do your face when you shave. Now, how ridiculous is that? Oh, your clothes, your sneakers. Guys out there wearing them fancy $500 sneakers, you spend more time on your sneakers, making sure your sneakers are clean and all that stuff, than you do on your face. Well, guess what? Your girl can get another man with better sneakers, okay? She can't get another man with another face like yours. That's what she fell in love with. So, as Aretha Franklin would say, give her something she can feel, okay? Give her something she want to look at. Not that crater face and all that stuff. You see my face right now? It took me time to develop this process. Again, I repeat, I'm not trying to claim to be something better than you. I'm just trying to extol the virtues of wet shaving for an audience that, for some reason, this has passed by. And that's people of color. My name is Lawrence Little, the wet shaving barber. And I hope that you enjoy this video series. Shaving the way your father taught you. I should say, shaving the way your father should have taught you. <laughs> okay. The correct way for people of color to shave. Thank you again.